This week we're working with the National Robotarium and we're exploring how uh, robotics and automation can help with asset maintenance and management and also water quality testing. Everybody's done some amazing work and now they're talking through the work that they've come up with as individuals and just, just using the power of the group to, to kind of add to and, and build upon those ideas. Tilly was amazing. She is the most inspiring person I think I've seen for a very long time. She tells that really powerful story about you know, working with the open robotics people. I mean, she's a brilliant ambassador for, for her generation, I'd suggest. It's been a fantastic event so far. We've been thinking about leakage in lots of different perspectives. And today we're starting to drill down and understand some of the solutions that we think we might be able to work towards. We've been having a huge amount of fun along the way. We've been playing Marvel Madness, which helps us think about the complexity of our networks within our communities. Where we are looking at how Northumbrian water impact on our customers, community citizens within the area when we're doing large capital investment schemes. That was the idea of what we were looking at at the beginning. It's morphed into something completely different, but still tackling that big question of how customers value Northumbrian more and what they're doing and don't just see us as disrupting their communities. They see the benefit and appreciate what we do for them. Our sprint is focused on how we can use data, software, green technologies, all wrapped up within a smart network to reduce energy costs. And today we've let everybody loose in terms of uh, ideas. So lots and lots of post-it notes going up at the moment. We're looking for volume of ideas. And then tomorrow we hope to carry some of that energy in and start to wrap them up in terms of solutions. So all really exciting. Lots of energy in the room. We're running a sprint on how to better flood reporting and also increase resilience and better support communities. So far the sprint's gone really well. We've got a lot of people that have came in with different ideas, people who've been flooded because it's a very emotive topic, people who don't know anything about the subject at all. And hopefully we'll have something at the end of the project that we can use on our actual project forecasting system.